Welcome in my studio and today I'm going to show you how this rainbow silver, which is probably the most popular color, um, is going to shine here with our model Dani. Um, I'm going to use um, the light tube itself without the extensions. You can have the minis and you can vary all the colors. You can easily click it on with the connector. Um, I'm using the Volomov, which is a perfect fit here in the tube itself and which is giving a lot of light and I can uh, make, uh, I make it a little bit stronger or a little bit weaker. Um, I can also put it on blinking mode. And I'm using the white end cap in this case. We also have a, a black end cap, so as, as you can see in our shop. But I'm going to use this one to show you what an amazing color it gives. It is uh, the main color is silver, but you can see if you're turning it a little bit, you can see all the rainbow colors popping out, which is amazing. So let's just do it. Alrighty. Uh, what I did is I put my uh, camera on uh, self-timer mode, five seconds. That means that I've got five seconds between pressing the button and making the light pattern itself. I'm going to turn off the lights um, because it's, uh, it has to be dark. Normally you're doing this outside, but I have the luxury of a, a studio which is large enough. Um, but the exact same effects um, will be um, uh, if you're using it outdoors. So let's give it a spin. Dani, ben je er klaar voor? Ja. Cool. Dan ga ik hem scherp stellen. Oké, okay, walking to my camera right now. Dani, can you please strike a pose? Ja, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oké, okay, here we go. 5 seconds. I'm turn off the lights. I'm going to make a fantasy pattern just to show you which colors are popping out. And you can move again. And I'm going to show you with a picture in picture how this one turned out. And I'm lucky that I can have a sneak preview. And you can see especially in the right corner all the colors popping out and what I can see also um, that the white end cap is giving a nice white line um, I'm not really sure about the pattern and I think that um, I turn on the light the tube itself a little bit um, too bright so what I'm gonna do with simple pressing the button I'm gonna make it a little less bright and um, you can see that if, if there's more light coming on into the tube um, it will be more white, so the colors will not stand out that much. So the colors will be much more saturated um, when you're turning the light a little bit down. So let's give it a try again. Okay, can you please strike a pose? Nice. Can you turn your head the other way, the, uh, to, uh, towards the light? Your face towards the light? Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. I like short light, so that's why I always turn their faces to the to the light. In this case, a softbox. And I'm here. We go. And the volume of flashlight is remembering the last setting that you did. So that means that if I turn it off and turn it on again, it will pop up to the uh, original setting, which makes it very handy when you're making your light uh, tube paintings. Checking it out again, and this is much better. You can see turning the light a little bit down makes this uh, tube much more shiny, and the colors will pop. You can see green, you can see blue, you can see orange, purple, all colors orange again. Uh, you can see all colors popping up. I'm gonna make another painting and this is what I really like. I also like the light on her face. This is really nice. I can see that you're moving a little bit with your right arm and that's why you have this little shadow line on the arm um, because that will be the silhouette. If you don't use a strobe, you can see a complete silhouette and now you can see that it's first on the first curtain. The flash that will freeze her, but movement afterwards and light behind her will make sure that there will be sort of silhouette line. So we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do a different pattern. 
Okay, can you please strike a pose? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Like that. Cool. Here we go. I was a little bit late with the light, turning it off, but. Always make sure that you have the correct side of the tube facing the, the camera. Because if you're using the, the back side of the tube, you can see that there is not much light coming through. So there is a front side and a back side on the tube itself. I like it. Very nice. You can see the colors shining in this uh, painting also. So this is the effect that you get with the rainbow silver. And this is one of three because we have got two others, uh, other colors, the rainbow gold and the rainbow pink, which also really shine when you put them to use in your light painting. Well, thank you very much and I'll see you later.